Hello, Year 9, and I know that you may not be in this lesson today, um, but this video will be useful for any of the Year 9s that are studying this unit of work today. Um, so what we're going to be looking at, now that you've made your presentation and you've got those employability skills to help you uh, do the spreadsheets, uh, you know all the different formulas, so you've learned a few different skills there. What we need to look at is how we can present this to somebody because it's equally important that we build our presentation skills for when we work in industry. Now, what I am going to be getting you to do on this unit is we're going to develop a presentation that targets sponsors of the event. So, for example, you are going to have a number. If you've ever seen Dragon's Den, you're going to have a number of people sat there and you want them to give you money so that you can run your child safety event and make people more aware of online safety and the risks of sending and receiving images that are indecent. We want to help people out that are your age. And this is where this presentation is going to come into play. Now, you are going to need to make sure that you can make this presentation. But what I want you to be careful of is make sure that there isn't too much white space. Now, what I mean by that is, I'll give you a prime example here. If I was to do my presentation like this, that's a lot of white space. So make sure you have a really good balance. Um, also, what you will see in this presentation is an example of what you should avoid. I'm just putting a lot of information in here because you're going to be watching this online and you need to know what you're doing. But generally speaking, you should only have a couple of bullet points per slide and give people some imagery that they can actually focus on. But as a reminder of the scenario that we've been working on, we're looking at CEOP, a child protection agency that helps promote online safety. Uh, and what you're doing is you're, you previously had to research a range of acts that could be used uh, for your festival. So that's an element that you can include. But what we're doing today is we are developing our presentation. So you're going to promote your event to sponsors. You want them to give you money, and there are several things you need to do. Where are you hosting it? Is it somewhere local? How many tickets are available? <clears throat> are there 100? Are there 1,000? Have you thought about how much the tickets are? All right. So how much are they? Because if it's too much, people may not want to go. So how much are your tickets? All right. Why is it important to actually teach teenagers your age about CEOP? What, what, what benefits are going to have to them? Why are we running this event in the first place? Is there any risk? You need to explain that to me. Uh, one of the concern around people your age, actually, is the impact of sending indecent images. And uh, that term is called sexting. So we would like you to give people your age some advice about how they can either protect themselves or what they can do about it if they've accidentally made you know, a picture that they didn't mean to. Um, what if they're blackmailed, that sort of thing. Uh, what advice can you give students? Show examples. Um, who are your who are your performers? Who are your acts? How much does it cost? Why do you need the sponsors? You've got to convince them to give you money. Now, those of you may want to improve your graphic skills, may want to show pictures of the tickets or a poster for the event. So we've got to get this done over the next few lessons, um, and this will be required as homework as well. Now, just to give you a little bit of guidance around the sending and receiving of images, because I do want you to put a slide on this. The law states that it's illegal for a photo of a minor under 18 in your possession, okay? So any pictures of somebody uh, which is deemed indecent, i.e. clothes off, that sort of thing, um, that is uh, under 18, it is an offense. Uh, the same is if you forward on a picture from somebody else. Um, and that's why you should tell an adult if you've received one, because then you can actually, uh, <clears throat> if the person who sent the picture ends up in trouble later on, you saved uh, the job of the middleman, like adults investigating and so on. And you're going to look out for yourself. Um, think about consent. I mean, really, do you want would you want somebody distributing a picture that you've sent, all right? So why would you do it to somebody else? It's like if you were to steal somebody's bag, you wouldn't do it, all right? So you wouldn't steal their photos either and distribute them. Um, you can show them the seop.police.uk website. Um, never feel like there's a 
there's no way out. There is always a way out. And I'll be honest, the police do not want to prosecute somebody for a one off. They may chat to you and give you the support that you need to stop it happening again. But I don't ever want you to feel like there's no way out. There is. And that's why they have agencies like seop.police.uk or the phone number for Childline. Just because you're a teenager does not mean that you can't contact Childline if you're worried about anything like this. Um, while you're making your presentation, one thing I do want you to remember is your sources table. Uh, I'm just going to delete this slide because it's no longer needed. But just before you start working on your presentation, remember at the end of this project, you will need to submit your sources table. Now, I'm not saying you cannot use the internet to gather the images that you need. Of course you can, but please remember to acknowledge the sources. So you search the bands, you search for the shopping list, keep all of your sources together because it's important that we acknowledge copyright and that you do not steal other people's images or videos for that matter. So that's what you're going to be working on today. And you're going to be doing that with Google Slides because you've all got your Chromebooks. You can all access it at home. I hope that is useful.